24 hours, seven days a week, 24-7, Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314-7291 or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Welcome everyone to Madison County School Sports Television as it is opening night of high school basketball with Crosstown Rivals Madison Central versus the Madison Southern Eagles. Jerry, I believe we got good to see you by the way. Yeah, good to see you. Good to be back together here. Start of another high school season and um, I don't know a whole lot about either team. You? I don't either. Uh, not a, a ton. I know Madison Southern has some kids back who uh, played well last year. You had the Kit Tanner Kidwell and uh, Stacy Burns and <clears throat> little Jefferson kid. He was a freshman last year, and uh, they're, they're pretty good on the perimeter. I think the question mark for them is underneath. No doubt about that. I think the biggest thing for Madison Central we're going to see is what are they going to do with Cameron Thomas? I've heard they've taken him off the point more. They're playing him more in a four spot where they think they can create a lot of mismatches. Uh, you still have. A lot of kids back who played out front. You got Sam Jones underneath. He's going to should be a strong and dominant force right. for them. So I think that's Southern's mismatch is who can they uh, defend Sam Jones with. Uh, on the perimeter, I think both teams will be pretty strong. I've talked to both coaches in the past week, and uh, Allen thinks they're going to be right in the thick of things. Um, yeah. They're always going to play hard. Um, there's no substitute for, for playing hard. But he feels like that this team can uh, will be able to compete for not only a district championship, but a region championship. So I uh, talked to Coach Buttrey on uh, Wednesday of last week, Tuesday of last week, excuse me, and he was very excited about the, I guess, the progress that his team has made um, after football is over with. And uh, these kids believe, and that's, that's a big deal at Southern is just believing, yeah, we got a shot. We can beat these guys. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the football team, without question, uh, you know, it's probably a disappointment at the end of the year for them. But right. in, in a lot of ways for the basketball team, that's good news to get some kids in here quicker, sure. get them adjusted. They could still be playing football right now, as a matter of fact, if, right. uh, if they had gone really deep. So. Uh, I know they wanted to win down there, and nobody's glad they lost, but if you lose, at least there's a consolation that gets you out here ready to play. Um, Should be a good matchup. Like you said, Central has the advantage on the size aspect with Sam Jones, and that's another one he uh, he decided not to play football to, uh, I know he's got a uh, shot put career. He wants to look at it in college, and he's been working on that, and also been working uh, uh, with basketball, and there's a lot. There's a big difference in conditioning in football and basketball. You got boys that play both. Yeah. yeah, Coach Richardson used to say to us, he'd say, "Boys in football, they can lay around and chew on a piece of grass between plays, but in basketball, it's nonstop, and so right. it's a little different. Uh, the intensity level it's played with right now makes it a lot different, and so uh, you may see some Madison Southern guys with a little bit of wind issues, 
and maybe the central guys won't exactly demonstrate that. Starters for tonight's game are Kirkland Humphrey, Sam Jones, Cameron Thomas, Tariq Miller, and number 20, that's uh, Grant Brockman. Grant Brockman is the with fifth starter. Uh, those are starters for the Indians. And for Southern, you've got Kidwell, Jefferson, Burns, uh, number 44, Gabbard, Gabbard and Miller. And Miller and Central with the tip. And the season has begun. Southern starts out man to man. Brockman has it on the right wing over to Thomas. Over to Humphrey, and he walked, and they missed it. Thomas will go to the baseline to Humphrey for a three. No good. Rebounded by Roberts for the Eagles. Roberts hands it to Kidwell, and the Indians will be playing man-to-man. -man. Over to Burns. Out of bounds goes to Cent. Uh, they changed it that's correct goes to the Eagles I said Roberts it's Jefferson that's my fault that's Craig Jefferson's boy Michael good I believe. player good player, good player young yeah and and uh, central with the break early with the non call on the on the walk but didn't capitalize on it Kidwell takes it hard got a foul on Humphreys Kidwell will shoot two the not the knock on Kidwell probably is sometimes he's out of control but you can see right there, he doesn't mind to take it hard to the basket and right. some contact. Yeah, that, that's what I really like about him is he plays hard and he's aggressive. And you can't, that's hard to teach is aggressiveness, somebody that's not afraid. Um, you know, some folks, some kids are just passive by nature and it's hard to coach that. Yeah, and, and sometimes the light switch will come on and sometimes it never comes on for them to have that aggressiveness. Kidwell hits both free throws, so the Eagles strike first, two to nothing. As we are a minute into the first quarter, Thomas will pull up from 18, got it. Kidwell probably has maybe the toughest matchup on the floor, trying to guard Thomas. I don't know if, I, I'm sure Coach Butcher may switch, but I don't know if I wouldn't play the zone. Burns to Jefferson, floats and misses. And Miller with the rebound to Humphreys. He lays it in. Burns trying to avoid that early foul. Talked to Stacy's dad earlier today, and, and um, he said, you know, uh, his son hadn't had a chance to play, but about two minutes against Central early in the year, and then he got in foul trouble in the district, didn't play much against them there right. either. So he's trying to avoid early contact I think there. last year's game, he got hurt. Uh, got early, yeah. yeah. Run, run the old flex offense as Jefferson looks to penetrate. You know, some people say, man, why are they running flex? That's 1950. You watch a ton of college teams. They run, the, it, I guess you could say it's motion. Uh, we've got steps called. Yeah, Anything to get screens and that's right. movement. It, 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 there's not a lot of new things out there. You know, there's ways to to get a screen and get you change speed, change direction, somehow right. to get open. If you watch college basketball right now, it is dribble until a high pick and roll at the under 10 yeah. shot clock. Thomas looks to drive. He walks, didn't call it. Brockman, no good. Jones with the rebound, puts it in. 6-2 Indians as we go to five minutes and 20 seconds left in the first. Jefferson comes off a pick. Over to Kidwell. Miller kid's a big, strong kid, and he does neutralize some of Sam's strength, but Sam's still taller than him. Mm, right. That could become a problem, but so far he's he's done pretty well. Well, we talked about motion offense. They're looking for it. Kidwell pulls up, and no good. Rebound by 42, no good. Jefferson grabs the loose ball. Over to Burns for a three, and way off. Thomas with the board, he looks to push. 
Over to Miller, back to Thomas. Back over to Miller. Jones down low and he gets fouled by number 42, Miller. Pretty good defense by him, but just Sam's just a strong guy. Strong boy. I tell you the other thing I've noticed with Burns is he, it seems like in a way he's pressing in this game to mm -hmm. get going. He, right. you know, we know he's a good player. He averaged 15 points a game for them last year. And so he, they need points from him, but you got to let him come to you. That's right. Jones is 0 for 1 and 1 for 2. Indians lead 7 to 2 early on in the first. Central takes the steal over to Humphrey and it's blocked. Jefferson is on the break, a three on two, and he walked, didn't call it, and the foul. Foul is on Jones. His first, Gabbard will go the line and he'll shoot two. They need these buckets right here. Don't get yeah, it. They do. You kind of sense that right now. It's on the on the verge. And it, simple as it sounds, making a free throw, which is free. It's free. And if we have to, we'll do it again. We can demonstrate. And there he goes. We may do it from the inside of your car, maybe. <laughs> Free throw is good, it's seven to three, and we have a 30 second timeout with four minutes left here in the first, Central seven, Southern three. Uh, we'll stay right here since it's a 30 second timeout. Jerry, I, how do you think both coaches feel about the start? Well, I think they got through those early jitters. I think Coach Feldhouse mad about that call there, but he has to feel over, overall good that the call's gone his way pretty much. and. Uh, and I don't mean that in like a favoritism, but I think he's right. gotten by with a couple things too. It just happens. I think the referees got as much early season jitters as anybody. Oh, sure, sure. So I think both teams, I, Southern has interested me in the fact that they've played man to man. They don't normally, uh, you wouldn't expect that necessarily, but they're mm -hmm. wanting to play them a strong, straight up man to man. That's good. I like to see that. Yeah. I mean, uh, early in the year, let's, let's see what you got. Miller has the ball over to Humphrey. Going to look at get it down to Jones, and it's stolen by Kidwell. Good defense by the Eagles over to Jefferson. Kidwell gives it to Gabbard. It's out of bounds, stays with Southern. Gabbard, a good looking kid. He is. Here is he. I don't know. We'll find out. Burns pulls up from five. Oh. I don't know what happened there. He got fouled. Humphrey will lay it in. Miller is a junior and Gabbard is a junior. So I believe we've got four juniors and a sophomore for Southern. And for Central, we have two seniors, a junior. Brockman's a junior, and Thomas is a junior. There he goes. Burns got off a shaky start, but there he knocks one down, a big shot for him. 9-6, Indians lead. Humphrey from 15, got it. Good pull-up jumper by Kirkland nice, Humphrey. Nice shot. Looks like his dad, Denny. Well, not really, <laughs> but no, no, I don't think nice so. shot by Kirk. 11-6. Kidwell looks to take him to the hole and good defense by Brockman and he steals it. Over to Thomas. Thomas looks for a break, hands it off to Jones and he will lay it in and get fouled. I don't know if that's how you want to run a three on two break, but it worked <laughs> out. Yeah, it did. I'm not sure. Like I said, outcome was good. Don't 
No good uh, as free throw by Jones, 13 to six. John Miller in. I'm sorry, John Williams in for the Indians. John Williams, that's right. And I believe he's a junior as well. Kidwell looks to dump it down low. Back to Jefferson. Jefferson looks to give it to number 44, Gabbard. Over to Miller, and he misses. He good ball fake, but didn't put it in the hole. He waited it out and everything, just like you'd want him to. Thomas will drive and score. Good move by Cameron Great Thomas. Move. Good body control. Good turnouts by student section oh, tonight. Oh, it looks great. It's what you like to see. Kids on both sides having a good time. Jefferson will miss. Out of bounds goes to the Indians, 15 to six, as we have a minute left in the first quarter. And this is what you don't want if you're Madison Southern. A lot of pretty good shots. Uh, right around the goal, missing yeah. Them. Yep. In for the game for the Indians, number 44, Jacob Taylor. And for the Eagles, number five, Caleb Miller. And another driving layup by Humphrey and the foul. Miller is in for 20 seconds and then fouled. Caleb Miller, I believe he's a sophomore. Yep, Caleb Miller, a sophomore. Free throw is no good, and Miller with the rebound and throws it away, but gets it back over to Jefferson. Down to Kidwell, to Miller. Pump fake, drives, and shoots and misses. Andrew Miller with the rebound, and he gets fouled. He's playing hard under there. He is. Couple of uh, uh, little short arms that he's missed putting in and really could make a difference in this game. He needs to hit these free throws. That's right, 17 to six. It's an 11 point lead with 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. First free throw is rim, no good. Rims out. This is one of your football guys, I think, is Miller. Mm -hmm. He misses both, and that hurts. It's just like a turnover. Yeah. 30 seconds as Cameron Thomas goes, and it's stolen by Kidwell, and he shoots with 19 seconds left. Yeah, that's those kind of things you can't afford in this game. No. Ain't a whole lot you can say about that. He just <laughs> thought there was one second left and there was 18 more. Thomas with the miss. Jefferson, he'll try it. He walked. And they called him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they called a walk. After one quarter, it's the Indian 17, Southern 6. We'll be right back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com.
small car, big coverage. As we begin the second quarter, Southern needs to get a run going here, Jerry, so they can just keep touch, keep in touch with yeah. uh, with Central. Caleb Miller has picked his dribble up, we out from the goal, and 42. Miller. Andrew Miller drives in there and makes it. Made that shot. That was nice. Used strength. His up all, all upper body strength right there. It looked like he went through classy chassis car wash. <laughs> no foul. Jones spins and nothing. And Jefferson will take it all the way, and it's blocked. Kidwell, no good from one foot. And we've got a foul on Brockman. Well, right here, what you're talking about with Southern, just hanging in. Right. You just got to keep this thing at halftime where you're not talking about uh, immoral lessons sure. out of this. You're talking about still winning the game. And, to do that, you got to stay within some kind of reach here. Fouls on Thomas. Yeah, I do think that um, Southern has to stay in the motion or some type of flex. They they were running it well and then um, went to just kind of make trying to make plays of their own. Yep. So the, One things I'd like to see a little bit more with. Uh, there you go, get it down low and he walked all over the place. One of the things I like to see more with uh, Jefferson, I, he got him some moves to get free. He needs to be strong finishing at the right. basket. Right. Going in there trying to draw a foul. He gets the edge on some guys and not really breaking that defender down. That helps the rest of his team and mm -hmm. I, th I think that's something they may want to try to push him to do a little more. All right, Eagles have went to zone, and as soon as they do, they just <laughs> maybe that's why they didn't play Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Not that zone anyway. No, that other zone, what he was talking about, 19 to <laughs> 8. Jefferson to Burns, so you got to be ready to shoot that. Yeah. That would have done been in the air if it would have went to Goble, isn't that right? Well, I mean, isn't that what you're in there for? You'd have burn right. Shoot it. Miller with a good move. He misses. How many is that, Jerry, that they've missed right at the cup? I, I, I bet they've missed eight right at the cup. Right there. Yeah, and then like I said, even if you, they're contested, they're not easy shots, but even if you hit three of them, mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden this is a five point game instead of an 11 point game, so. Nineteen to eight, six minutes left here before the half and Southern is Went to the other zone. Maybe this one will work better, and it doesn't look like it will. Oh, yeah. A lot better. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Give up a one-footer and let him blow it. Kidwell all the way to the hole, and he misses. Oh, my gosh. You got some injury here. Somebody's yeah, th hurt. We should take a break. Yeah, we'll take that. a break. We'll be right back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha Burford, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas. And I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television.
Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television. As we have under six minutes left before the half, Indians lead 19 to eight. Kidwell in the lane over to Jefferson to Miller and no good. And number 44, Gabbard with the putback. Could, uh, you know, having, having Sam out, we just had, had the injury for Sam Jones, but having him out uh, immediately impacted rebounding exactly. and the putback. Mm -hmm. And we'll make sure to update any of what we hear from Sam. I hate to guess on what happened to the kid, so we'll make sure it's confirmed before we say anything. But, Absolutely. Uh, we're thinking about him and his family at this time. Just a, you know, just a hard, clean oh, play. That's right. Nothing. Just uh, not even sure how, how what happened happened. Not even sure what happened, but it uh, obviously some kind of impact there. And, well, our prayers are with he and his family. Brockman was fouled and he hit the first free throw. And second free throws missed, but Humphrey with the rebound and puts it in. 22 to 10. Indians with a 12 point lead. Kidwell has it on the left wing. Down to Gabbard, over to Miller. Screen by Miller, he shoots from 18, short. Brockman has the rebound over to Williams. Poor defensive communication there, and he gave him wide open shot, but he didn't even come close. Taylor with the ball, and it gets blocked by Kidwell. And Kidwell's off and running, gives it to Miller, and he misses. Jacob Taylor with a jump ball. Good effort. Good effort by both teams rebounding the ball right there. I think you're at a, you're at a pivotal point here for Coach Butchery and the Eagles, and you wonder a little bit. Uh, got a couple, well, you got Burns out that's noticeably out. I know he had a couple fouls maybe, but mm -hmm. is this a time where you may need him in there? Right. Thomas down to Taylor, to Humphrey. And Humphrey, wild pass, and Kidwell steals it. And he's going all the way and lays it in. Good nice move, move by Tanner Kidwell. A little out of control midcourt, but he busted through. John Williams has the ball down to Taylor. Swings it around to Humphrey. Back to Miller, Taylor. They're working the ball, I'll say that, Jerry, as Williams drives and nice scores. Move. Nice patience there by the Indians as they work the ball around. Well, uh, frankly. Another chippy missed and gets his rebound, puts it back put in. It back in. Got a timeout. Indians, 24-14, 10-point lead here with three minutes left in the half. Got a 30-second timeout. Poor and defense on this end, really. You, you work and work and work, and then you give him an easy shot. Right. And, uh, of course, that's the offense's goal is to work and work and work and get you to break down somewhere. Exactly. So, not sure that... Uh, Humphreys with the ball will bring it past half court. Eagles are, they've changed their zone, Jerry, to a 1 3 1. Over to Humphreys for three. That, he got it. Yeah. They're that, going to have to hit those right now because right. there's not any presence inside. 27 14 as Jefferson walks, no call. Sargent with the pump fake. Over to Kidwell, he fires from three. No good. Banked it in. 
And Miller misses, or excuse me, Gabbard. Oh, well, that was Miller that missed. Humphrey will take it, and no, they got carrying the ball. That's a good call. Well, the again, I don't know how many point blank shots they've missed, but they uh -huh. missed a lot. At least ten. We had a monitor right here in front of us. We could see. I think that's coming. <laughs> yes. That's why we didn't get on the schedule much this year. We asked for too much. That's it. All I want. Maybe some nachos at the break. I bet. We'll see. I bet they'll do that for us. <laughs> Eagles looking to cut into this 13-point deficit right here before the half. There's two minutes to go. As Kidwell has it up top. Over to Gabbard. To Miller. Over to Kidwell. To Sargent. Kidwell's going to take him to the hole and misses. And it's off of Southern over to Central. Twenty-seven, fourteen. Indians with a 13-point lead in total control. Eagles stay in a zone as Thomas gets it into the teeth of the zone and is fouled. Fouled by Kidwell. He's going to be it. They're going to be a dandy one-two punch. He and Jones, high-low, high post, low post. He's not a traditional high post player, but man, he's so quick and right. athletic. Mm -hmm. He'll shoot two free throws here. First one is good. Brockman will come in for Williams. Second one is good. 29-14 as the lead swells to 15. I love watching a young player who it's obvious has watched our videos. That's exactly right. And another chippy missed. Probably number 11. Thomas pulls from 17. Got it. That's two he's hit from that range. Yeah, if you're on one end missing three-footers and on the other end they're hitting 17-foot pull-ups. Rockman with night. the steal to Thomas and he misses. Taylor over to Miller. To Humphreys for three, no good. Brockman with the rebound and he's fouled. Good hustle by Grant Brockman. Absolutely. He'll shoot two free throws. First one is no good. Seth Richardson checks in for Humphrey. It's as Brockman makes the second one, 32-14. He balloons to 18. Jefferson to Kidwell to Brockman with another steal, and he throws it away. Jefferson has it with a four-on-one, and he takes it all the way and is fouled. That's the part where I'm talking about. He needs to finish those. Yep. And and sometimes you drive in that teeth of the defense, mm -hmm. you draw the foul, that's good. But a really good player at the finish will get that ball up quicker. Right. Get it up on the glass soft. And and sometimes you wonder, you know, a guy like him came in as a freshman, played all last year starting, and sometimes you, you don't assume much of a role because that's the role you're in mm -hmm. as a freshman. Mm -hmm. But now he's a sophomore. And especially this year to next year, he's really, they're going to expect a lot more of him. Right, right. <clears throat> Both free throws were good. 16-point game, 32-16 as we go under 30 seconds. 
here in the first half. Eagles switch back to a 2-3. Seth Richardson throws it to the Eagles defense and they call a timeout. Well, that worked out good for the uh, Eagles, but Madison Central coaching staff, I know that it's a tough situation because mm -hmm. you know the, the whole complexity and the, the attitude and atmosphere in the gym changed. Right. Right. And so how you handle that with your kids and do you try to just get them into halftime and talk about it a little bit and then get out here and play? Sure. Um, Thirteen seconds left here in the half, 32-16. Eagles with the ball to see if they can cut into this lead. Central is in a 2-2-1 half court trap. Jefferson to Sargent. Back to Jefferson to Kidwell. He'll he got fire. a good shot. No good. He has a good look, just missed. And that's the half as the Indians will take the lead 32-16 into the first half. What are your teams doing for this first half? I thought we were playing really well. I had a lot of energy until uh, Sam went down there, and that kind of kind of zaps the energy from everybody, so it's kind of hard to, to get them back into the flow. But, I mean, I was pleased defensively. I thought we played really well. Okay, how do you think Sam Jones is going to do, and how are you going to get your team to recover from this? Well, I think he's all right. I mean, all the signs, he was moving everything. Uh, it just scares you when you see one seizing like that after he hits the floor. So we just don't want to take any chances. So that's why we sent him on the hospital. And that's what I told the guys. Uh, I mean, Sam would want you all out there playing hard. So that's the message we're going to try to give to them. Okay, thanks, Coach. Right, thanks. Coach, your thoughts on the first half of this Crosstown rivalry? Well, I hate that what happened to Sam down there. That kind of put a bad taste in our mouths. But i uh, got to go on to play. And uh, – We've missed 11 shots in the paint, according to our shot chart. We've missed four free throws. We're, we've left a lot of opportunities out there. We're not finishing. We're not blocking out. We're not getting back. We, you know, the things that we said we had to do to win the game, uh, we're not doing. But this is a new half. We told them it's 0-0. Let's get out there and get the, get the thing under 10 and see what happens from there. So we, we still got a shot. You got a lot of players on your team that know Sam from being in Madison County. Your thoughts, how are you going to help them? Well, I can't imagine being central. Our guys were shook up. They were at halftime. I can't imagine being those guys. I, you know, both teams, uh, it's, it's extraordinary that they both came out and played the way they did after that incident. So hopefully he's all right. All right. Good luck, Coach.
special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out scenic-cabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full-service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page, sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports. Com. Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha Burford, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports. Com. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. It is 32-16. And the Eagles are trying to get back in this thing and Coach Buttry said it about as about like we did, Jerry. Yeah. You just you don't even have to hit all those. Although in a lot of ways you'd look and think I wish should hit 80 or 90 percent. But even mm -hmm. if you hit half of them, right now this is probably a five or six point game. And, and another, another one missed. That's 12. Burns misses another one. I mean it's in the hole. Yeah. yeah those are rolling around trying to drop and just can't get them to go. Indians tried to start off strong and Miller shoots a three and misses. Thomas rebounds and no foul. Brockman gets the rebound and Burns finally gets it, comes out of there and needs to give it up and he does. Jefferson has it over to Gavard and nice Kidwell lays it in. That's a good execution by the Eagles, 32-18. Absolutely, the block out was terrible. And of course you don't have block out assignments in the zone, but they got away with it. Brockman rims out. Kidwell with the rebound. And you can't throw a cross court pass. Humphrey walks and they missed it. Kidwell gets it. And he's over to Burns for th three. And that was. I, you know, I don't understand that really. I know it's his specialty, but right now you need points. And I don't know why he didn't fill the lane. Right. And go to the basket right there. The foul was on number 42, Miller. That's his second team first. Thomas will be in the line with the Indians to shoot two.
Cameron Thomas got fouled in the lay-in, so they will shoot free throws. First one is missed, second one is good, 33-18. And the Indians will get into their press. This one's man-to-man, -man. the Kidwell says, I break it by myself and missed, but he's got the foul. But again, that's a shot he can hit. You would think he should hit. Sure. Kidwell first free throw is short. Second one's long. The next one will be right in the middle. Yeah, he didn't get a next one. Yeah, that's those are daggers right there. Good shot by Miller. Great shot by Miller, and and uh, they're leaving him wide open. Mm -hmm. Treat Miller. Uh, I don't remember him from last year, Jerry. Did he? He play. I mean, he's he's under control. He's calm. He's hit some shots. Burns goes in and misses. Humphreys with a rebound, and they've got a two-on-one. Miller takes it all the way. Yeah, nice basket. I, I like his demeanor. I mean, he's just under control. Does a good job. Oh, oh. he smokes best layup of the night. Over and his head, and dead Miller. in the middle. <laughs> Oh, if he knocks Tariq this down. Miller, no good. He had to shoot a good shot. It looked good. Kidwell throws it to Gabbard, and he's well, fouled. Right now, Southern's playing uh, what I'd call Jerry Goble defense. That's what we let him shoot it. Just we let hope him it go. don't go in. <laughs> and you can't, you know, it's not going to work. And so you're going to have to guard that perimeter. Yep. And uh, right now, uh, they've let them have about three or four open, uncontested shots in a row. And it's good. Need these free throws. If you're Southern, you need to do anything you can to get in. Coach Fletcher said at halftime, kind of keep it within 10. Mm -hmm. It's where you need to get to. Hit both of them, 37-22. Five Southern minutes left in the third. Extended the defense. Thomas over to Brockman for three, and that's no good. Another open shot, though. I, you know, the philosophy there thinks we couldn't guard him from 20 in. Let's try to spread out to <laughs> 40. That's a good idea. Uh, as an announcer, we can say that kind that's of stuff, joking. <laughs> but, you know, they got to find these shooters on the perimeters. Right now they're missing. Yep. We're bumping and grinding all the way down, and they call it. Yeah. Central back man to man and the old back pick play and good play there by nice play. Coach Buttry called that from the sideline. Worked like a charm. Two, two, one half court trap. Let's see what the other trap out of it. And they get a steal almost. Brockman down to Williams and nice he play. scores. 39 24, still at that 15 mark. It feels like to me the Central's uh, point blank range shots have been so uncontested, mm -hmm. they've been easy. Kidwell goes all the way to the hole and misses. 42. Miller sticks it in. Andrew Miller doing some work down low. Well, his his lunch pail got lighter when Sam Jones got injured. Mm -hmm. And so uh, now he's got to take it. You know, he's got to take advantage of his size mismatch. He's the strongest guy on the floor. Short by Tariq Miller. Brockman to Humphrey. This one's going up and in. Yeah. Great shot by Kirk Humphrey. Hey, listen, you got to take what they're giving you. It's open shots right now. Good shot by Kirk. 
42-26. I'm drooling sitting up here thinking, boy, if I could just play against that. Oh, man. Burns. As Joe okay. Blankenship says to me sometimes in golf, he said he'd make a living playing against me. Why? Well, <laughs> I might could make a living playing against that zone. <laughs> you just camp out in that corner. <laughs> People, oh, look at there. He walked all over the place and they didn't. <laughs> yeah. He looked but, like. But Coach Feldhouse, and I like it. He's, you know, you can be mad about the call and you can miss a chance to coach right here. And he's going to say to his kids, you can't give a guy. Right. That one yeah. pick, one screen, and he's he's wide open. He's wide open. One out of two. Cameron Thomas loses it out of bounds. Yeah, you gotta gotta catch that and get that rebound. A little bit of body on him and he let it float out of bounds on him. Oh, he missed him. Miller short. Tariq gets the rebound. Over to Humphrey. Over to Thomas. This one's going up and he smokes. Oh. Got to meet those passes, don't you? Some things never change, whether you were playing 20 years ago That's or exactly 40 right. years ago. Simple fundamentals. More times than not, we'll win the game for you. Yeah. These are still 15, 16, 17 year old kids. Kidwell has it near midcourt. Asked for the screen, and oh. they stole it from him, but get it back. Gabbard will oh. lay it in. Nice move. Good play by Miller from the floor. Great steal first yeah, by Central. The two big men are playing well for the, for Southern. Yeah. Well, you got to be impressed. Uh, you know, Taylor out on the floor, guard to guard, guarding Kidwell, picks it. But then Miller on the floor gets it and hits, uh, hits his guy in stride. Jacob Taylor with the rebound and score. Weak side rebound on a zone, boy, that'll kill you. Yeah. That third person on the Weak side always forgets the wing player, usually a guard, has to get crash. in there and box out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Has to. And you see that in the college game. I know you watch every night, it just kills them. Got to block these guys out. Yep. Fundamentals. You know, the, the interesting one of the rule changes again, I think this year went back to on the release. Uh, oh, is that right? Yeah. And uh, so it, it's interesting to watch because, of course, kids have been used to having to wait forever. Mm -hmm. Especially early in the year, though. <laughs> Some might be able to steal some buckets. Yeah. 45-29 is our score. It's, what I, it's the way we played growing up was on the release. But now, uh, forever, they played it on the rim. On the rim. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh man. man. I forgot to inbounds it. It's those little things that have really uh, been huge for Madison huge. Southern. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's almost a walk. The old pick play. And it's a foul. On Corey Miller, and he asked for a jump ball. Caleb Miller, excuse me. But you don't get anything you don't ask for. That's true. I'm going to ask Santa Claus for one of those new Lexuses. They tend to come out this time of year. 
with a big red bow on it. You think that's happening? He probably could. I'll bet you Michelle gets it. You think so? Of course, I'm ask her. of course, one month later, you'll get a payment for it. Yeah, I'll go back. <laughs> but I thought what you really meant was a Jack Burford Chevrolet. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I buy all, all my vehicles from John. Exactly. So I was wondering if Gives you, me such a good deal, but maybe he'll get a Lexus in on trade. <laughs> put and he put a bow it. on it and give it to me. I guarantee you, if you, if you want a bow on it, he'll put it he'll on He'll put there. it on there, yeah, a bow with a price tag. Kidwell gets fouled and they didn't call it. And he, I don't know what happened there. He almost got a technical. Well, they, he, he's probably thinking, hey, there's three calls in a row down here real quick. And that was probably enough contact to call it. They yeah. didn't get it. But you can't be, uh, can't be mouthing. Good move and short. Kidwell, good rebound and sticks it. Unbelievable. It's like that ball's got too much air in it. <laughs> Thomas has fouled. Yeah, how, well, that ball, he, he went up and hung. Mm -hmm. And you see that happen sometimes, and you got kind of flick it up there. Instead of just, he was so wide open. Mm -hmm. He could lay that in like there was nobody in the gym but him. Yep. But he didn't he do would that. Get that 99 out of 100. Yeah. I guarantee it. That's a two footer you miss sometimes in golf, but you just say, how can I uh, miss how that? How did I miss that? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have a six footer than a three footer sometimes. It is 49-29. Yes. Yeah, not what you it need. It feels like 79-29. Yeah. Thomas will shoot one in the bonus. First one is good. Second free throw is good. Madison Central capitalized on the things they need to. Madison Southern has it. That's the game right yeah. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They both had several turnovers. Um, it's the easy buckets right around the rim. It's killed them. Good pass. And Miller seems like a good kid. He mm -hmm. works hard in there. Not up. the most mm -hmm. gifted, but he's pretty good, and he mm -hmm. uses his body well. Knows he's not going to jump over you, so he out. That's right. Ball fakes and waits. Patient, mm -hmm. heady player. Burns back into the game. Let's see if he can get going. I don't, Jerry, I don't remember if he's, he's only got a couple points, if any. He has a three early yeah, in the game. Shoot, you know, he can he shoot just, it. Kind of like he can't get going. Can't get it going. And, and I think, you know, early in the third quarter there, he, he went out and drifted to the corner for the three. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes getting an easy bucket would have been a better decision. Wild scramble and it's white ball. There are four seconds left in the third quarter. You would think you'd want to throw it toward a goal. This way. Yeah. Miller from 30. Look good. Look good. But That's the end of it. the third. 
Central 51, Southern 31. We'll be right back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out scenic-cabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full-service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Small car, big coverage. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Action here in the fourth quarter of the Central Southern Crosstown Rival opener for both teams. We've been critical of the play sometimes, Jerry, but we do have to remember it is game first, one. First game. And there's been some highlights. And like you said, there's no way to know how this game really would have looked and turned out had, uh, had you not had the injury. Mm -hmm. I think it affected both teams. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of hesitancy a little bit. Miller, Yeah, I'm impressed by this kid. Looks good. Seth Richardson with the ball over to Thomas to Humphreys. He'll lay it in. Burns struggling, and uh, they, they'd have nothing going on the outside. Mm -hmm. Nice post up there by Miller. You know, they haven't used that at quite as much as I think they could have. Miller with the jumper and he misses over to the Richardson to Thomas and he got fouled. Fifty-seven thirty-one. Six twenty-eight left. Uh, Jerry, what uh, looking at their schedule? And we'll start with Central. I mean, everybody just. Assume that Scott County was going to be the favorite, and they got steamrolled yesterday by Ballard. 90-something to 72. I mean, yeah. is Ballard loaded? I thought they lost. <laughs> I mean, they, I watched the kid they played uh, for Ballard when Central beat him in the state tournament, that Keelan Martin. Oh, he played this night. He played for Butler and played yeah. well. Yeah, they, they – uh, well, 
Al Pruitt, uh, longtime coach at Henry Clay, you know, he, he used to say that you could go in the locker room and most of those city schools, Lexington, Louisville, both, you could, uh, you know, you could dis cause a magic trick to cause the whole team to disappear. And if you could get the kids in the halls who could play mm -hmm. to come out and play, mm -hmm. they'd have a top 20 team again. Sure. A lot State. of these schools, they just don't get all the kids out. But some of them have done a good job of getting good good uh, tradition and kids coming out to play. And Ballard's one of those programs. Yeah, they're good every year. <clears throat> yeah, no doubt. And so, you know, I don't really know. It's hard to say right now what I would say with Madison Central is, and I wish we'd have seen a little more of it tonight with Sam Jones. He'll be back, and I think he'll be – you know, he'll be a factor mm -hmm. that's hard to handle. His size, he's not the tallest guy probably to play in the region, but he's probably the, takes the most space in the middle. Right, right. With his size and height. Uh, the Southern's got some figured out to do. They're missing some inside presence. And well, I'll tell you what, they're two inside guys. Uh, look good. Of course, Sam went in the game but, but yeah they look yeah. pretty good but to be honest with you the thing that i wonder is uh, that's true they look pretty good right now and again you're right that's without sam but their outside guys haven't really got anything going and mm -hmm. i think they they kind of thrive on the outside game so what happens when you're cold one night sure that's true steal by kidwell and he will miss Boy, it's ugly right now. Can they do a running clock? 61-35. This looks identical to the Beckley building, 1984. <laughs> uh, I was at Clark Moore's in 1984. Yeah. <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to uh, diagram sentences. And I'm they sure do you did anymore. a good job with that. <laughs> Hey, I can find the predicate and the subject and the verb, but after that, it come to adverbs and stuff like that. Yeah, struggled. How's out on that? Yep. That's when, that's when you raise your hand and you ask for some help. Basket by Taylor. Get 63-37. Taylor's played well. Yeah, he has. Coming in. You know, spelled that that middle spot again. Not a big guy, but he plays pretty good size for for his height that he is. Mm -hmm. Jefferson with another lay-in. We talked about that earlier. That's yeah. the finish you need. Mm -hmm. Draw some contact, lay the basket, lay, lay the ball in the basket. But you ask about Madison Central. You know, I think they'll be they'll be a, a team to to reckon with. They'll. They'll get things going. They're always going to play tough defense. If you don't play tough defense, you're not going to be in the game. Mm -hmm, right. And uh, so the, they'll get that part together. And I think Southern, last year Southern had kind of a, a little bit of a slow start. They kind of hit a little stride where they were playing a little better. And I think they may do the same this year as they gel a little more through the season. Central running their offense here. Southern playing man to man, 63 to 40. As we go under four minutes to play. Down to Taylor. He lays it in. Good move by Taylor. Yeah, nice move. That old boy's built pretty good now. Jefferson over to France. Bingo. See, Jefferson may need to do a little bit more creativity on his mm -hmm. side. Whether yeah. it ends in a shot or a pass, doesn't matter. If he can get a wide open guy, it's, that's what you want. Thomas floats and misses Kidwell with another rebound. I'll give this about Kidwell. My man w works and plays hard and misses. Can't, I can't, can't get the lay it. No. I mean, he's right around the goal, and yeah, there, there's there. shots he'll hit another night. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but yeah, it'll come because, like I said, well, he plays hard. Do I, you know, I think if we could get the, get a look at the stat sheet right now, Randy, between point blank miss shots and free throws. And this sounds crazy in a game that is 22 points, but that really is the difference mm -hmm. in this game. Uh, I, I agree with you. Now, I, I would I would say in qualifying that a little bit, Sam Jones being out equalized these teams a lot mm -hmm. more. Sure. But mm -hmm. uh, but had with him out, had they hit their free throws and hit a just reasonable percentage of those chippy shots, this game would be tight right now. Miller for three, no good. Foul on Humphrey. The foul is on number 23, Humphrey. His third, two nine. Part of the line for the Eagles, number five, Miller to shoot one and the bonus. Miller will shoot one and a bonus. Well, when we get a chance to talk about it, what do you, obviously, uh, Give me some insight, Kentucky. Oh, boy. I tell you what. <clears throat> if they play hard and hit shots, I don't want to say they're going to go undefeated, but I don't see anybody beating them. No, I, I agree with you. You know, and hit shots. Now, Texas Friday, you know, they got some talent. They're big. Um, Providence showed how to – Stay with them, slow it down, run the shot clock. Um, no doubt. And, and, and hope that Kentucky misses, and that's what happens. But what happens is they keep playing, you know, they play 10, and Providence, you know, played eight, but still those first six get the bulk of the minutes, and that's probably Ed Cooley said it. The 15 minute mark, we had no gas, and they were coming in with our starters. Yeah, and he was. Those kids looked at me like, uh. <laughs> well, know. yeah, no, no question about it. The the only, if I was gonna, and I don't want to uh, underestimate or undervalue the coaching job they're doing with those guys, but mm -hmm. it, if I were to say the hardest thing, Coach Cal Perry and his staff will have to do over there is keep people happy. Sure. When you're scoring 60, 65 points, if that's what teams try to do to them, and you're playing guys relatively even minutes, mm -hmm. uh, your leading scorer might have eight one night. Well, that's what's happening. Yeah. Eight, what's the leading scorer right now is averaging 11 a game, 11 or 10. Yeah. Um, It'll, it will not surprise me with this team if teams can can control the ball enough to slow it down. For you to have not one guy average double digits mm -hmm. at the end of the year. Now, the Coach Cal Perry's selling them on how that's a team game and we're going to win and you're still going to go to the NBA. Sure. But that's a hard thing to sell an 18, 19 year old kid. Uh, no. So if they do a good job with that, they'll deserve credit that nobody probably will give them. Right. Yeah. Nobody wants to give Cal Perry credit for much. I mean, he's got a, he's got some guys. Fran Fraschella really likes him. Jay Billis. Um, I was reading on Twitter just now that Dan Dockett, who's an Indiana guy, you know, I don't know if he's trying to put the hex on him, but he just said in his telecast just now that they're, he don't see anybody beating him. Now, yeah. I'm sure he, as soon as they lose, he'd be the first person to put the smiley face emojis all over the place. But um, as long as they're winning, everything's going to be fine. It's, uh, yeah. it's when they may lose or, you know, you may start pointing fingers or what have you. Um, but, for instance, he went away from the platoon the other night because Tyler Eulis was in their yeah. jersey. And Trey Lyles is the one that I think has got more offensive skill than most. And he just – he's not playing enough to get his feet under him. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. You know, he it's, goes, I'll be to, first to say it's hard. If you're going to end up averaging 18, 19 minutes – it's really tough to really get in the flow mm -hmm. you would like to get into for some of these guys. Yeah. 
As we go under a minute. A little closer to home, uh, Eastern. Entity sure, they've got they've, a brand new squad, but they're off to a four and one start. Mm, they, uh, who beat them here? They're Brigham Young beat them. Yeah, 90, BYU 70, beat them, but two or something. Played them really well first half, second BYU's half. BYU's good. Yeah, I watched it. Tomorrow night, uh, Eastern plays Valparaiso, and Valparaiso's been tough. They beat Murray by, uh, they beat Murray by 35. So that I, tells me they got pretty something. Good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. That's over here, so that would be a good game oh, Everybody night. needs to come out tomorrow night to McBrayer Arena. And it's, hey, they got a brand-new floor. Yeah, beautiful in there. Is, you're, you're the, uh, are you, is your name still on the goals? Yeah, I believe oh, we are yeah. still on the goals. Okay. So. Well, in this game, the it is over. 69-48, Madison Central wins by 21. Um, hopefully... Sam Jones will be okay. Uh, he had a tough spill, like you said. There's nothing um, that was dirty or just a bad spill. It just happened. The um, the rest of the game was kind of what it was, you know. Um, Central just has more talent at this point. Southern has got some tools. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they'll get it together. But the Jack Burford player of the game tonight um, for both teams. We're going to go with uh, number 42, Andrew Miller. We've had a great second half. Um, that's for Southern and for Central. Uh, we're going to give it to number 34, Cameron Thomas, as he come out of the gate firing tonight. So Cameron Thomas and Andrew Miller are our Jack Burford Chevrolet players of the game. Jerry, you got anything to add before we sign off? No, just to, you know, you hate the first game of the year and Coach Feldhouse said it, you know, the energy was taken out of everybody. And sure. that, that includes fans. I, you know, you applaud the crowd here for their reverence and respect for Sam and his family because mm -hmm. uh, the place was dead quiet. But the second that he left and went to get that additional checkout that he needs to have, this place was dead. Mm -hmm. And um, you hate to see that. You hate the injury. You hate the – but the bottom line is the kids got the first game out of the way. That's right. And uh, the coaches got some things to go back and talk about and work on. Madison Central right back to action on uh, Friday night. Uh, they play Lafayette, and then they play again on Saturday, I think, down in London. London. Mm -hmm. And uh, they play uh, Apollo down there. So uh, Southern, I'm sure, will be right back at action. Southern too. plays Friday at uh, South Laurel. So uh, both teams hopefully will get uh, victory under their belt since they're not playing each other. Absolutely. And have a successful season. So Madison Central off to a 1-0 start. Madison Southern starts out 0-1. And for Jerry Goble, good to see you, buddy. Hey, the A-team. All right. This has been Madison County School Sports Television. Good night, everybody. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. 
Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? The following is in smokeless tobacco. Cadmium. Formaldehyde. Lead. Nicotine. Nitrosamines. Polonium-210. Hydrazine. Benzopyrene. And uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the definition of binge drinking is having five drinks over the course of two hours. When done excessively, this may eventually lead to memory loss, unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, excessive vomiting, alcohol poisoning. And possibly death. If you don't want to swallow any of this, chances are the next tube you put in your mouth won't be a good time. For more information on binge drinking, please visit the Centers for Disease Control website at www.cdc.gov.